time to start. <laughs> So here we are. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you sound bigger than you are. That's, that's awesome. So good morning to all of you. Glad to be able to be here. My name is Jim Connors. I'm the unit commissioner for this troop. Um, we are part of the Tahoe District, which is part of the Southern Sierra Council of the Boy Scouts of America. And it's my privilege to welcome you here to uh, this morning to the Eagle Court of Honor for Gavin and Dylan. I declare that this National Court of Honor is open, and at this time I'd like to uh, introduce Sam Gallagher to the stage. Color Guard attention, audience please rise. Color Guard advance. Continue to help them and all who witness this ceremony today to do our duty to God and our country, to help other people at all times, to keep ourselves physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight as we strive to be trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. In all these virtues, May we always seek to embody the values of Jesus Christ our Savior and imitate him as our Lord. For it is in him, in his name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Okay. At this time, I would like to invite all Eagle Scouts, including adults, to stand and be recognized. Scout badge is an important and serious event, the climax and the goal for which a scout works many years, an occasion for pride and joy, a time for serious contemplation. It is the culmination of efforts of the various leaders of these scouts. The Eagle Scout Award is the highest and most coveted rank in scouting, the last major step in the advancement program. Fewer than 4% of all scouts in the United States reach the Eagle Scout rank. At this point, we trust you have achieved our purpose in the building of character, training of leadership, and the practice of serving. The requirements for the Eagle Scout rank are as follows. Be active in your troop and patrol for at least six months as a life scout. Demonstrate scout spirit by living the scout oath 
and scout law in your everyday life. Earn 21 merit badges, including 14 that are required. First aid, citizenship in the community, citizenship in the nation, citizenship in the world, citizenship in society, communication, cooking, personal fitness, emergency preparedness or life-saving, environmental science or sustainability, personal management, swimming or hiking or cycling, camping and family life. Serve actively in an approved position of responsibility for a period of six months after becoming a Life Scout. Plan, develop, and lead others in carrying out a service project worthy of an Eagle Scout. Take part in a Scoutmaster conference and appear before a board of review of prominent persons and satisfy them that you have done your best to understand and live up to the Scout oath and law and in all ways qualify for the Eagle Scout award. Dylan and Gavin, can you please stand? Careful examination has been made by the court as to the qualifications of these applicants for the Eagle Scout award proficiency in the various crafts and skills prescribed for the Eagle Scout rank has been checked and the records of merit badges earned by these scouts have been approved and certified by the counselors appointed by the court. Scout candidates Dylan Shear and Gavin Seals have demonstrated their capacity and willingness to exert leadership in activities that are constructive and worthwhile in this community. The record has been checked in troop leadership school affairs, and in other fields of work and service. They have demonstrated loyalty and duty to God and country. We believe that they are qualified to receive the rank of Eagle Scout. Dylan and Gavin, in recognition of these obligations, I ask you to reaffirm the Scout oath or promise together. Scout sign. Ready? Begin. My honor, I will do my best to be honored to honor God my country and to obey God's law. Well, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Two. Now it is time for the presentation of the Eagle Scout Award. Gavin, please stand to the right side of the podium. And Dylan, please stand on the left. Pick up your Eagle kicks, too. The honor of pinning your eagle on your uniform rightfully falls to the persons most responsible for you being here, your parents. Can Rolf and Stacy and Kenny and Katie please join their scouts on the stage? I am going to ask that your mom pin your Eagle Medal on your left pocket flap. All right, please join me in congratulating Dylan and Gavin on their <laughs> And now, also in recognition of the many hours of patient guidance given by her in your efforts, will you present your mom with the Eagle Mother's pin?
Gavin and Dylan in recognition. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Gavin and Dylan, in recognition of the wisdom and guidance given by your fathers, will you present the Eagle Father's pin? Dylan, Gavin, and parents, you may be seated. Now it is time in the Eagle Ceremony where after the elevation to the highest rank in scouting, leaders will give them a charge to live by. First, I welcome back to the podium, Mr. Bill. Sam. <clears throat> Good morning, my name is Fernando Fan, and as uh, I was uh, introduced earlier, I'm the former Scoutmaster uh, from 2020 to 2022, um, which were the COVID years. So the COVID years presented unique and unprecedented challenges for scouting, to say the least. Uh, Dylan Scherr and Gavin Seals, along with Sam Galligan, Aiden Smith, Logan Snavely, Ethan Comstock, Jacob Rasmussen, Matthew Fan. They were among the scouts who made scouting so successful at Troop 194 during the COVID years. I thank you all. Many of you don't know, don't know this, but Dylan and Gavin have been friends since kindergarten. And they started uh, as Cub Scouts together, Pack 177. And then they moved on to Pack 58. Dylan Scherer has always had a good attitude he served various roles in the troop, the most senior position being an assistant senior patrol leader. He cheerfully taught fellow scouts and helped them advance in rank. To scouts and adult leaders, Dylan is trustworthy and reliable. He kept the senior patrol organized. Dylan is also a planner. He is determined and goal-oriented. At age 12, he decided that he wanted to be an Eagle Scout, and he motivated himself to meet all the requirements to achieve that goal. In addition to scouting, Dylan is able to find balance while staying busy with school, with AP classes, tennis, and work. He also serves as the boys' athletic officer at Liberty High School's ASB. Dylan is also involved in the Ford Dream Builder program, a coveted program in which students from different high schools come together, come together to serve the community. They evaluate a need and then design and carry out a service project to address that need. Building bat boxes were part of that project. I hope that some of you had a chance to participate in that worthy cause. Dylan's current interest is investing and business. He loves to invest in relationships now so that it will pay dividends into the future. Mm -hmm. This shows me a maturity level that far surpasses most of his peers. Gavin Seals served as the troop's senior patrol leader. He also loves to teach and is very patient and thoughtful in his actions and words, for he too knows the impact they leave on others, not just at that moment in time, but they can cause wider ripples later into the future. Gavin also served as our 2022 Philmont crew leader. Most days during that 50 mile trek, the crew needed to carry heavy loads of essential food and water as we summit different mountaintops. Gavin always carried more than his fair share of the load. His actions inspired others to do the same. He was tactful and private when he needed to counsel fellow scouts about problems. He fits the definition of a servant leader. Currently also at Liberty High School, he serves as the ASB president. At his church, this church that we're in, he uses his musical skills to help lead the youth group. I was not at all surprised to learn that he was nominated and accepted to the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis. He fully deserves the honor. I want to say a few words about being an Eagle Scout, of which I am not, so I'm really admirable. I really admire the Eagle Scouts who are graduating. The foremost responsibility of an Eagle Scout is to live with honor. To Eagle Scouts, honor is the foundation of all character. 
they know a scout is trustworthy is the very, very first point of the scout law for a reason. Eagle Scouts live honorably because their example inspires those around them to be better. May the color white of the Eagle Badge remind you both, Dylan and Gavin, to live with honor. The second obligation of an Eagle Scout is loyalty. A Scout is true to their family, Scout leaders, friends, school, community, and nation. Their loyalty makes them pitch in and carry their fair share of the load. Loyalty and service inspires devotion to community, to country, to one's own ideals, and to God. Let the color blue of an Eagle badge always inspire your loyalty. The third obligation of the Eagle Scout is to be courageous. Courage has always been a quality by which people measure themselves and others. To an Eagle Scout, bravery means not only having the courage to face physical danger, but the determination to stand up for what is right. Let the red in the Eagle Badge remind you always of courage. Eagle Scouts extend a helping hand to those who are still toiling up the scouting's trail, for they know others have helped them in their climb to be an Eagle Scout. The performance of, a, of doing a good turn daily takes on a new meaning when they enter adult life, continuing service to others. The Eagle stands as protector of the weak and helpless. They aid and comfort the unfortunate and the oppressed. They uphold the rights of others while defending his own. They strive to always be prepared to put forth their best. Dylan and Gavin, you, stand, you started together as Cub Scouts, and now you share another bond as Eagle Scouts. You both deserve much credit for having achieved Scouts' highest award. Wear your award with humility, as I know you will. I know you are also mindful that your actions are an example for others. Serve and lead others in your life so those around you can do their best. Through what you have accomplished in and out of scouting, I know that you are already and will be living the Scout Oath and Scout Law. I know you will meet your future endeavors with honor, loyalty, and courage. Let me end by saying we are all very proud of you. So Mr. Fan talked about a lot of the stuff he did at Philmont. And so Dylan at Philmont had a mishap, his sternum strap broke. And he carried on, he didn't give up, didn't quit. You know, it, that's a big deal on your backpack. He kind of tied it on as a knot and kept hiking. It showed that perseverance that he was going to keep going through the struggles. Gavin, we just loaded him up with extra water. He'd do squats with it. He'd hold the extra weight. He's training, you know, running up the hills. We're like, okay, whatever. Um, he's also served as my head of Lingamath for the last couple of years, which I don't know if that's a new job or an old job, but he did a great job going through those ordeals, leading new scouts into the OA. Both have done an excellent job, and you guys have both demonstrated that you have all the character traits required to be a Eagle Scout. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Both of you will continue to lead throughout the rest of your lives and your careers. You are now going to face new challenges where you're going to be separated. Remain friends. Don't let the distance keep you guys apart. There's not many of us that have friendships that have lasted for a lifetime. I don't know many people from when I was in school back then. So keep those bonds together. Don't let the distance separate you guys. Congratulations, guys. Okay, thank you, Mr. Stavely. Now I'd like to invite up our founding scoutmaster of Troop 194 and our current district commissioner, Jim Connors. Mr. Connors, will you please deliver the Eagle Scout charge? Yes, sir. Yeah, I too was certainly a scoutmaster. I did not get the uh, eagle either. I'm part of that 96% that didn't <laughs> quite get there. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. It's an honor to be here and be a part of this today for you two guys. If you would please stand, you two. Dylan Gavin, I have the honor of giving you the Eagle Scout charge on the occasion of your elevation to the 
highest, to this highest rank. I charge you to undertake your citizenship with a solemn dedication. Be a leader, but lead only toward the best. Lift every task you do and every office you hold to the high level of service to God and to your fellow man. So live and serve that those who uh, who you you know, <clears throat> excuse me, who you know, you will be inspired to finer li living. We have too many who use their strength and their brain <clears throat> and their brains to exploit others and to gain selfish ends. I charge you to be among those who dedicate their skills and ability to the common good. Build America on the solid foundation of clean living, honest work, unselfish citizenship, and reverence for God. And whatever others may do, you will leave behind a record of which every other scout must justly be proud. Would you please uh, make the scout sign and repeat after me? In fact, if you are an Eagle Scout, you may stand at this moment too and give me the Scout sign and say this and reaffirm your pledge as an Eagle Scout too. Follow after me. I reaffirm my allegiance, I reaffirm my allegiance to the three promises of the Scout Oath. To the three promises of the Scout Oath. I thoughtfully recognize. I thoughtfully recognize and take upon myself and take upon myself the obligations and responsibilities the obligations and responsibilities of an Eagle Scout of an Eagle Scout on my honor I will do my best on my honor I will do my best to make my training an example to make my training an example and my status and my influence and my status and my influence count strongly for better scouting count strongly for better scouting and for better citizenship better citizenship in my troop in my troop in my community in my community and in my contacts with other people and in my contact with other people to this i pledge my sacred honor to this i pledge my sacred honor to to <clears throat> and now for these fellas up here the eagle pledge so this is another one of these repeat after me moments, okay? And I'm going to say, state your name, but I don't want you to say that. I want you to say your name. <laughs> Even at this age, we still have to give them the right instructions, right? Otherwise, sometimes they get a little too linear on us. All right, so here we go. I, and state your name. I, Gavin Seals. There we go. See, they did. <laughs> Believe in the Boy Scouts of America. Believe in the Boy Scouts of America. As a movement which has as its aim and purpose. As a movement which has as its aim and purpose. Character building. Character building. And citizenship training. And citizenship training. I believe it to be a movement. I believe it to be a movement. That helps a scout become. Let's start. We'll stay there. That helps a scout become. That helps a scout become. Master of their own powers. Master of their own powers. Helps them along with other people. Helps them along with other people. And helps them find. And helps them find. A worthy use of their powers. A worthy use of their powers. I therefore believe it is my duty. I therefore believe it is my duty. To do my best. To do my best. To obey the scout oath and law. To obey the scout oath and law. I hereby renew my faith in scouting. I hereby renew my faith in scouting. And promise to do what I can. And promise to do what I can. In service to other scouts. In service to other scouts. You have not come this far, you're done. You've not come this far <laughs> along the Eagle Trail just um, to go on about life. Okay? You made this pledge and we all witnessed it, right? So I have something special to uh, present to you two guys. Um, would you go grab the acoustic over there for me, please? Thank you. Just hang on to it right there. Let's go there. I think we got this. 
Okay, in the early days of the uh, great American West, there was a tradition of bravery among the Indian warriors known as counting coup. To complete this act of bravery, a brave must approach an enemy warrior in the thick of battle, touch him with a coup stick, not one like this, <clears throat> but not kill him. That becomes important in a little bit. And return alive to tell the tale. Each time a brave counted coup in battle, he received an eagle feather in recognition of his bravery. And indeed, many feathers in the war bonnets of great chiefs were feathers earned by counting coup. Well, the Boy Scouts uh, embrace many Native American traditions. However, Native Americans of the Old West honored bravery among enemies, whereas Scouts hold hold youth leadership among friends in the highest esteem. To reach the rank of eagle, a scout must first and foremost be a leader. Thus, it's only fitting that the act of counting coup and scouting be in recognition of an act of leadership. So I hold in my hand a coup stick. Hanging from this stick is a dream catcher, symbolizing the attainment of a dream. Many scouts dream of being an eagle, but as we heard, only about 4% ever reach that goal. More importantly, the coup stick is adorned by eagle feathers of scouts in our district who previously attained eagle. In honor of those scouts, I now will be counting coup on our new eagle scout by touching him with the coup stick. However, who's really going to do this is our other eagles. So if you're an eagle scout, whether you're in uniform or not, come on up. Let's put Dylan over here. You guys face that direction. Let's get our eagle scouts over here. We're going to have a little fun. <laughs> don't forget to touch them with the goose stick. Remember I said, you don't kill them. <laughs> and in fact, we don't even want to draw any blood, although we're good at first aid, we don't need to do that in front of her. Okay? So, you guys, how many we got? We do this maybe a couple at a time. Here we go. So, take it that way. I said about running through. I just there we go. We do have doctors in the house, right? Okay. All right, just go there and touch them somewhere. Appropriate, of course. There you go. Next. Couple of you. There you go. Congratulations guys, I'm so proud of you. 
And will Matthew Fan please lead us in the closing minute? Or actually, um, I'd like to introduce Gavin. Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Um, thank you, Sam. So first off, I just want to say thank you to all you guys for coming. We really appreciate it. Um, we did my work prepared here. Uh, I just want to say, you know, scouting was probably one of the best things I did as a youth. I definitely encourage all of you to keep going for the boy scouts that are still here. I was able to do things like, you know, Fiesta Island, we did a lot of cool things. The night kayaking, the mile swim. Um, Philmont, definitely. If you guys don't know what Philmont is, it's basically like a 12 day trek in New Mexico at a scout camp where you hike through the backcountry and at the different camps, you can do like archery or shotgun shooting or just a bunch of different really cool stuff. And I was able to do that with you know, some of my good friends and my dad. So that was obviously probably my best memory from scouting. So definitely encourage that. Um, I have a couple more pins to give out. So first off, I'll give out my grandparent pins. So I'll come down there. And then um, next up, I'll do the mentor pin. So a mentor pin is kind of what each Eagle Scout has the honor to give a mentor pin to someone who they think has really influenced them, helped them out a lot within their um, journey towards Eagle Scout. And so Gavin and I were talking, and we had two people in mind to give our mentor pins to. So I'll go first. I'm going to give mine to Mr. Snavely. I want to thank Mr. Snavely for everything he did for me. He was my Eagle Scout coach, so he really helped me with my project and kind of get everything going. And without him, I definitely would have been totally disorganized. More than I already probably was, but thank you for that. Um, and thank you to any other mentors on Mr. Fan. You helped me a ton. You were my, I think you were the Scout Master I had for the longest period of time. So I really appreciate everything you did. Thank you to my co-daddy, Mr. Hicks. I can hear you guys. And most importantly, I want to thank my parents. Mom, you were always very supportive. I know you always drove me from like school and to practice and the Boy Scouts. So I really appreciate that. And then Dad, thank you. You helped me all the way along the way. If there was ever something I didn't know, which was a lot of stuff I didn't know, you somehow always knew how to do it. So I appreciate you for the project and all the campouts. And yeah, I just Boy Scouts from 194 here. Definitely, please get your Eagle Scout. I look forward to hopefully coming to your guys' court of honors. And thank you everyone for coming. And now I'll pass it to Gavin. I think he has some closing remarks too. Shivraj, Callan, Grayson, Ethan, Sam, Daniel, Logan, and then Caleb, and then those are the Hard Eagle Scouts. Sam, Aiden, Matthew. Um, I'm specifically talking to those of you that aren't Eagle Scouts yet. You have no idea where you're getting yourself into in the best way possible. <laughs> and, and especially those of you that are relatively new, I mean, you are going to have so many adventures in this troop. Some of them I would love to talk about, some of them are going to stay, you know. A little bit on the down low, but you're gonna you're gonna have so much fun on this journey, and I really encourage you, like Dylan said, to um, just continue working towards Eagle and continue looking up to some older scouts. I mean, you know, Sam, you're around, Dylan, you're around for a little bit too. For a lot of older scouts, who really influenced influenced us. Some of you may know those people: Thomas Smith, Ben Smith, Nick Jett, John Fulford. A lot of these people had a really big impact on us, and we were able to follow their example. So I can encourage all of you to continue looking up to the oldest scouts in the troop because they're really going to help you out and you're going to look back on a lot of those memories with them and and you know it's just going to be really cool and I would like to thank my parents um, mom for always supporting me throughout this journey even though you know you never came on any campus with us I really appreciate you for just putting, putting up with all my last minute um, eagle stuff and dad for coming on all those trips with me and helping me a lot and like Owen said I would definitely have been very disorganized without all your help. Um, I would like to come hand out my grandparents pin. So I have a lot, I actually have a lot of grandparents, so this might take
I didn't forget all of you. <laughs> and like Dylan said, so me and Dylan have done a lot of scouting together, so the people that were around in our troop were very similar. So Mr. Sandy definitely have been a huge mentor to me, so that pin is from me and Dylan. And uh, I just want to say you're very pragmatic and you keep me and Dylan in check a lot. Um, and Sam, well, I'm not leaving you out of this. You have bad ideas too, just like me and Dylan. But you know, he, when when he, we maybe want to do things that might not work out, you you're a middle school teacher, so you, you know how to deal with that type of thing. And you definitely you definitely keep us in check. And Mr. Fan, you're very compassionate and you've taught us a lot about how to care for other people, and also you've helped us a lot medically, like on backpacking trips when do we get hurt? I you've definitely helped me and many of us scouts all the time. So I want to present this mentor pin to you from myself and Dylan. said thank you all for coming um, I'm going to introduce Mr. Connors to, to close the ceremony for us well man you've uh, you've done a great job and obviously your your family is here um, as we all know these boys don't get to this point by themselves it takes people like us in uniform and it takes those friends and family uh, that are not part of the organization to be there, to get them to there, to encourage them along the way. When they're ready to just give up, they're done with it, they want to move on to something else. Um, it's tough sometimes. It's not an easy program. <clears throat> we live in a time when we want instant gratification. This isn't the program to get into if you want that. It takes 10 years if you start in Cub Scouts. Probably four or five years if you're in, if you just start in Boy Scouts. So it's not easy. And you guys have done a great job. I've been on campouts with them, went to summer camp with them um, in some of their earlier years. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun. They were at a program just this week um, that our council put on, uh, recognizing all the Eagle Scouts that, that got their awards in. And they heard from two men. Uh, one is a judge here in town. He got the award for the, the National uh, Eagle um, or, uh, or was it National or the Eagle Scout Award anyway. It was a distinguished um, award for him. And then we heard from a, a fire captain, a fire chief um, from here in town that earned his eagle and what it meant to them in their journey up into and through <clears throat> even to this point in their adulthood so they have a lot uh, of knowledge they know what is expected of them and um, i look forward to reading good things about them in the newspaper as we go forward so it's my honor to uh, declare this national court of honor Closed. Thank you, Mr. Connors, and congratulations, Dylan and Gavin. And thank you guys so much for attending today. Please join us over to your left for refreshments. And there's also a regalia table with memories and patches and stuff from Dylan and Gavin's adventures. And uh, uh, join us for refreshments as a time to gather and congratulate Gavin and Dylan. And as tradition at Courts of Honor, uh, adults go to the food line first and scouts. Thank you guys. Thank you.